back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review on the NYX Got You Covered Concealer and I'm really excited to try this out. I'm actually trying out the Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation right now and I'm really liking it so far and I don't think I've really tried out a proper concealer from NYX before so I'm really excited to try this. I believe this is newer. I'm not really sure but I believe it is. It's also supposed <laughs> it's also supposed to be waterproof and full coverage, which for me, I want a full coverage concealer because I do have like darker, you know, under eye circles, kind of like concaved circles, I guess. But although this is like a full coverage concealer, it is supposed to have like a dewy finish, which is really cool. And I got mine in the shade 2.5 Natural. This is just what the packaging looks like here. So on the back of the box, it says this velvety concealer indulges the skin with rich coconut oil while masking discoloration and imperfections. So I'm really excited to try this out. Let's just open up the box here. So this is just what it looks like here. Let's see what the actual... Okay, so it's just kind of like a squeezy tube. Personally, I would like if it was like a doe foot or something to apply it to the skin, but that's okay. I also love the Bye Bye Under Eye from It Cosmetics, and it's kind of like the same thing where you just squeeze a little bit out and tap it in. So I just squeeze that much out onto my finger, and I'm just going to take a little bit of it. It's very thick, honestly. Um, and just dab it lightly under the eye. I'm going to start out with a smaller amount and then build it up if I need to. So, so far I do like the undertone to this. It's kind of like a light yellowish color. So it is looking a little bit cakey, so I'm going to take my Wet Real Technique sponge and just kind of dab it in because I find this helps like get rid of the cakiness. It does get rid of some of the um, coverage, but it does help with the cakiness. So as of right now, it is like super dewy, like if you can see that. Um, I'm going to like wait a little while and come back and let you guys know how it's going just because it's super dewy right now and I'm not sure how I feel about that so I want to give it some time and see if it just kind of settles down a bit. I don't know if the Wet Beauty Blender kind of left some water behind and it just needs to dry but yeah I'm just going to wait a little bit and come back and let you guys know my thoughts on it. Hey guys so I'm back so it's been a couple of hours and I don't really personally like this concealer. It is looking quite like makeup-y and heavy under my eyes. I do think that it's kind of like settled down. It's not as dewy as it was when I first put it on. Also, excuse me, I know I have highlighter all over my face. Again, I was trying this guy out, so I have highlighter everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, it's just looking very makeup-y under my eyes, so I don't personally like this too much. Um, I do think it did do a really good job of like covering and everything. Um, I don't think it's the absolutely fullest coverage. I do find that it's sinking into some of my fine lines, but not like really bad or anything, not compared to some other ones that I've tried. So I kind of am like so-so on this. I'm not like 100% recommend, but I'm not 100% don't get it, you know what I mean? So I feel like concealer is a really hard thing for me to like personally like love it because I want something that doesn't look like makeup-y underneath my eyes but I also want it to be full coverage so it's a very hard like balance to get and I do think this does a fairly good job. It's just not my favorite because it does look makeup-y underneath my eyes. I'm going to try and zoom you guys in so you can see. This is just what it's looking like. I don't know if you can see, but it's like quite makeup-y like around here. Not so much on the inner part, so I don't know. And I'm not really sure how I feel about the dewiness. I feel like, like if you can see right here, it just kind of looks a little bit oily almost, and I'm not really sure how I feel about that. I like the rest of my face to be like dewy, but my under eyes, I don't know. I don't know. I think I want that like more matte because I don't want to bring attention to it. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it kind of helped out. I know I don't have like a lot to say about this because I don't think it's that bad. Like I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's like emphasizing texture. I like the color of it. I like the like consistency and the like coverage of it. I just don't really like the finish because it is a little bit makeup-y and a little bit too dewy oily sort of looking. But yeah, if you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below so I know that you like this type of video. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!